Hi, my name is Mary Crusoe Daly, and I'm a scientist at 3M. Being able to communicate what you're working on is extremely important as a scientist. By being a mentor through the Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge, I was able to help our next generation of scientists learn how to communicate what they're working on. The Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge is to encourage middle school students to create or invent something new to become America's top young scientist. And the winner of this challenge gets $25,000 and travel talking about what their invention is and past winners have been on the Today Show, they've met the president, but the unique part is that it's targeted towards middle school students and they get a summer mentorship program with a 3M scientist. We're at the Parkway Theater in Minneapolis. I'm here with my sorority sister, Sharonda, and we're gonna have step practice. I think my introduction to being a performer probably started in my living room when I was putting on Christmas performances for my family. And so it started with singing and then has taken different forms over time. Zeta Phi Beta is the sorority that I belong to and I first became introduced to historically black Greek organizations at college. I didn't think I was going to be in a sorority when I went off to college because I just didn't think that matched what I was wanting to do. But I learned differently that these organizations are more of a lifetime commitment than just a college experience. The values of the sorority match what I stand for. I don't have any sisters and so sisterhood was something that I was also seeking just to make a connection with other ladies. We are the Santas. We're here to show. We are the finest of and we want you all to know we can't just tell you all about the I've been involved for 15 years in my organization through undergraduate and then I was in a chapter at the University of Illinois when I was in grad school there and then now I'm an active member of my chapter here and I serve as the Minnesota State Director. We did one show a couple years ago where we wore blue wigs and we all had the same outfit and we had a theme and a video so the whole show was tied together and typically that consists of maybe five to seven different steps and we can compete against other teams. So we took this show and traveled to Iowa, we traveled to Chicago and did the same show in the same routine and actually won some awards. When you finally get that connection and you're, you're tracking with the other people you're stepping with, it's, it's really special. It feels like, man, this step is taking forever and then everything is faster when you're on stage. Your adrenaline's going, you're pumping, you're on the stage, there's lights, there's people clapping and shouting at you and you have to keep that focus. And so being able to shut everything else out out and just really listen to the sound that your sisters are making with you is really cool. One, nine, two, oh. I think especially being a member of this sorority has challenged me and, and allowed me to be more confident because other people are looking to you as an example of something that you represent that's bigger than yourselves. For a long time, scientists have always looked a certain way or behaved a certain way or are portrayed in the media a certain way. And that's not really true. That's not how it is in the real world. Scientists are just everyday people. And so I think the more that we can show people who scientists are and what they look like and what they do, the better off we're gonna be in helping change that stereotype.